Okay, what we're looking at today is a frequency counter that I purchased online. Now this counter was purchased quite a while ago, but it only arrived today um, due to the COVID-19 uh, situation. It slows everything down. The counter itself is rated for less than 1 hertz up to 6 gigahertz. And uh, I know for sure that it actually does count uh, up past 8 gigahertz, almost to 9 gigahertz. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, it's got a lot of zeros there, as you can see, which is another thing that's very impressive about it. Now, at the moment, uh, the counter's got a built-in reference, which is not too bad, and it's also it can use an external uh, 10 megahertz uh, reference. So, at the moment, I've got it connect. I've got a, an external reference up there. That's my homemade uh, 10 megahertz uh, reference. And that's connected to the back of the uh, unit. You can see down the bottom of the display it says external reference. And uh, on the input side, on channel 1, I've got another uh, GPS uh, controlled um, source. And that's uh, supplying the 10 megahertz to the counter. So at the moment what we're looking at is 10 megahertz with a whole bunch of zeros on the end. And uh, it looks pretty good to me. I've got a bit of a zero, zeros fetish when it comes to uh, frequency counters. The more zeros I see, the happier I feel. So, um, yeah, I don't know whether that uh, happens to most people that have frequency counters or that's just a personal problem that I have, but uh, I do have a bit of a fetish for zeros. So, as you can see, the 10 megahertz is very, very accurate. Um, I mean, once you get down past six zeros after the ten, uh, nothing really matters. But we've still got another three zeros which are sitting there perfectly steady. And it's only the last two zeros that are actually really moving around much. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I don't know. And my, um, my frequency, uh, my GPS uh, frequency standard, I don't know how... I mean, I made that quite some years ago, so it might... Uh, that's got a, uh, a 10 megahertz uh, oscillator inside. That might need a bit of a tweak too. I don't know. I haven't really played with it for a long time since I built it. But I'm quite happy with what I'm seeing. So it probably doesn't really need too much, uh, too much uh, uh, attention anyway. Um, uh, what else can I say about this counter? It's got lots of modes. Like it'll show you the peak, the, uh, the average, the minimum. Uh, it actually shows you the, uh, the amount of drift in actual hertz as well if you want to. Um, it also uh, has a built-in power meter, so it's showing at the moment that my GPSD is supplying 11.2 dBm into it. You can see that on the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's got gate times after, up to 10 seconds, and at the moment it's on the one second gate time. You can see the, um, it's uh, reasonably quick, really, it updates reasonably well. So that's the uh, frequency counter. It's pretty... Uh, I'll just uh, brighten up so you can see what the case looks like. It's a uh, pretty basic looking on the outside. Um, even the front panel looks like it's just a circuit board. So that's pretty average looking. They could have done something a little bit better than that. Um, I think I paid about $200 for it, approximately. So it wasn't overly expensive for what it is. Um, but again, I don't know how these people think because um, I know that if I design this frequency counter, and I could get that many zeros out of it, and it was, you know, built-in source and all that was working well, I would spend a bit of time and put it in a bigger box, perhaps with a bigger display, and uh, I'd be getting a lot more money for it than $200. I can tell you that for free. But anyway, you know, the Chinese, uh, they usually don't look at the big numbers. They're happy to take lots and lots of the little numbers. That's probably why they're so successful. Anyway, that was the... My phone doesn't want to, because the screen's brighter than the case, my phone doesn't want to, uh, there we go. So yes, you can see the accuracy there's quite crazy. I'm super, super impressed with it. Alright, this is the, uh, the view with the, um, using the external uh, 10 megahertz reference for my GPS uh, frequency standard. What I'll do is I'll remove that and you'll see what the frequency is um, with the in the built-in reference. Just remove that. 
Okay, we get to it easily with one hand. There we go. So we now removed it. It'll switch over to internal in a minute. There it goes. It's now on the internal reference. You can see the frequency is pretty good. It does wander a lot more than with the GPS reference. But um, all things being equal, that's still a very impressive uh, number.